Hey there everyone, Atesh here, back again with another video and welcome to another commentary style of video. Yes, I do have a couple of tutorials being planned up which are very code friendly, they are gonna come up very soon, I'm still working on them. But here's my point. Now getting to know about the new updates on React or what's new in the world of Angular or in the world of Python is very important for all the developers out here and that's what I always try to put in front on this channel. But that's not the only goal that I have in mind. As a programmer, as a person who is going to stay in IT, there are lots of things that happens around and it's also kind of important that you also keep an update on them. Probably you might not be doing the business in the near future, but you'll be working in the company who's going to do the business. You'll be probably later on be starting some startups and you need to keep an idea about how the businesses are running, what policies are being updated and how it might affect you. Now this is especially the video for that kind of policy. So in case you haven't heard it about yet, I have mentioned that in the title pretty clearly, but Apple has actually slashed down its pricing from 30% of commission to 15%, but there's a little bit catch on to that, I'll come on that. Now in case you don't know, if any time you purchase any product, any course, any service, any subscription in the Apple ecosystem, Apple charges 30% of that. Now, let's just say you are selling a product for 100 rupees, the 30% will go into the Apple's pocket. Now, how you orient your business according to that is up to you. Now, sometimes developers put a little bit more pricing if they are selling it on the Apple, that's totally okay and kind of a very normal situation to be seen on. And if the pricing is exactly same, then you're gonna see that uh, the, the, pocket, the, the pricing that is going in the pocket of the developers is actually very less. So this was actually least expected from Apple actually, and I think there is a little bit more going on. First, we saw that Google was about to roll out a policy that now we won't be accepting any more third party who can do the transactions and do the payment things. We have to use only the Google, and that Google is gonna take 30% of it. Now that was rolled back this was not rolled out in the market. It was taken back that we'll think about it probably in some other year. We're not doing this year because a lot of people made a lot of noise around it. Twitter was all filled about it. I especially remember the Paytm guys was all around, all over the internet and Twitter that this is really absurd because obviously 30% is really a big amount. And just imagine this scenario that you're doing a business, 18% goes into the taxes, the GST, on top of that, the 30% is gonna be taken up by Apple or the Google. So you have a very limited margin to work on your marketing, your production cost, and whatever the product you are making, it's really, really difficult in this situation. But coming on to the point, here we can see that Apple has announced uh, App Store small business program. And let me give you a gist of it that what it's all about. So if you, via the Apple App Store, you are making less than a million dollar, then you will be charged 15%, which is still a lot, but at least better than 30%. So you can actually uh, reduce your pricing and how much cut you are gonna pay to Apple to 15%. Kind of a big deal, but uh, there's not a lot more onto it. The policies are very clear. And this was actually announced in November on November 18th, 2020, but it didn't make any noise on the YouTube. So hence I'm making a video about it. And there's a lot more detail. I'll definitely 100% link that in the description section as well as in the pinned comment so that you can see that. And there is not much. There is just simply uh, mentioning saying that existing developers who made up to 1 million in 2020 for all of their apps, as well as the developer to new app store can qualify for the program and the reduced commission. So one thing which might confuse a few of the developer, it's not individually on the app level. So it's not like one of your app is making less than million dollar, another one is making million dollar. It's all on the developer account. So if you have, let's just say five apps or 10 apps in the store, the cumulative amount should be less than a million dollar, which is I think a pretty good start. But to be fairly honest, in my opinion, it's still a ridiculously an exaggerating amount that developers have to pay for this. We do have a market players like Stripe, Razorpay, Paytm, and a couple of other payment processor which charges 2%, 3%, and Apple on, that, on top of that charges 15% or 30%. If you use Google Payment Gateway Systems, then they charge us 30% too, which is really a lot in the world, which is uh, not that much driven about paying high ex exorbitant amount of money. Developers don't make that much of money. Surely, some do. Like uh, companies like Spotify, Netflix, they do have a really high amount uh, to be spending up there and all of that. 
but you're gonna notice kind of a thing that has been going in the Apple and Apple definitely is worried about. A lot of people, especially I also, we don't roll out all of our product in our app store. You're gonna notice that a lot of our products are available on the website, but they are not available to be purchased from the app store because of the simple reason. I didn't want it to increase 30% pricing on my existing courses. And if I do that, 30% is straight gonna go up into the Apple's bank. But with the 15% now, I definitely can think again on that, that how this is gonna be. Uh, but right now you cannot actually directly do that. There is a form, if you'll open up your developer.apple.com website, log in into panel and move on to this link, which I'll link in the description section. And you can apply for that program. If you are getting selected in that, then you can have this reduced pricing. And again, this is, I think, a move in certain direction in luring the more customers and allowing the developers that, hey, offer your services and product via us and we'll take care of rest of the things. Again, this is a point which is more over like a discussion and probably we'll have a Saturday live discussion section or something like that once we get free on that. Let me know in the comment section what is your views about all of these 30% pricing that is going up. I'm pretty sure that Apple will roll out eventually in the future this 30% model to everyone and will force us not to use any other payment providers but to use the Apple in-app purchase and Google in-app purchase only. But that's a really lot of commission that we have to pay in this world. So let me know what's your uh, uh, thoughts and decisions about this thing. And I think it's a fairly, fairly decent thing and especially that's coming up from somebody like Apple. I think I'm gonna think again that how the things and how my apps are gonna shape up in the future and what products will I offer, what products will I not offer there. But again, I'm more interested in knowing your thoughts about this whole situation. So yeah, now you are aware about one more thing. So let's catch up in another such video. No.